made this pattern for a wall clock and I'm going to use this wristwatch for the clock itself. I'll leave a link in the info box below for a print file for this pattern. This is for a wristwatch that have a diameter of 2 cm. So if you need it bigger you will have to resize it yourself. I'm using a wood veneer in 1.5 mm thickness. I take my time cutting out these pieces so that I cut slightly loose and I'm not pushing my knife through the wood so I have to cut it a few times before I cut it all the way through so it takes a little to cut all these parts out. I used my mini late with a piece of sandpaper to sand these pieces so that they have the right shape and are nicely to touch. Um, you can use a Dremel tool instead or a hand tool if you want to, but I think that would take quite some time. I also sanded my pieces all the way through with a piece of sandpaper so they all were nice and soft to the touch. I'm using a piece of plastic from some packaging and I'm using that for the glass for the clock and I am going to use it also for the lower part of this wall clock. As you see I did cut out two pieces for the clock itself. Uh, this way I can sandwich the piece of plastic in between the two pieces. I'm using the smaller of these two long strips and I'm using that for making this border around the inside of this little thing. This little part is where we are going to make the pendulum uh, to hang later.
using a toothpick and some polymer clay to make the pendulum. I made a small ball that I'm squeezing flat, pushing the end of the toothpick into that with some bacon bond, and then I have this bigger ball of clay that I am using to make the pendulum itself. And then I'm going to bake it. After painting, I first painted the pendulum black and then I used my gold, my Inca gold, to make this into a nice gold, an old kind of gold color. I actually used another wrist watch for this project as the other one sadly uh, got ruined when we took it apart. And yes, I took the wristwatch apart so that I only have the working mechanism and the face of the clock. I am making the part where the pendulum is going to sit. So first of all, I'm just cutting the toothpick down into size and I'm gluing the uh, pendulum onto the back side of this pendulum case. And then I'm going to close up this little part for the pendulum. I glue the clock where it needs to go so it sits nice and secure. We don't want it to break if it falls down or something else. I made sure that the clock was working like I wanted it to and now it's time to put the things together. Make sure your clock face and this little pendulum is in the right spot before you glue them together. Now I'm using the big strip of wood and I'm going to make this border or edge around the top piece of the clock. Take your time to do this because it will be worth it in the end. As I don't want to permanently glue this wall clock onto the wall in the little room, I am going to make this little thing you see here and I'm gluing it to the inside of this little frame that we just made in the top so I can hang it on a needle in the wall. And then I sand it to make it nice and good looking. I take my glaze and I'm glazing all the wood parts on this little clock. Be careful that you don't get the glaze on the plastic parts because that would look really bad. Now I only need a new battery for this wall clock for it to work and I'm going to hang it on a needle in the room. Thank you for watching and happy crafting!